Yes, it's QN, it's finally here! Seaside Story. A few videos ago, I mentioned how Game Mode 1 was gonna make a similar map like Rasselberry Emerald Tycoon. And actually, this is it. Like Emerald Tycoon, this is also another map designed to be compatible with mobile controls. And this game will also be unfortunately only free up until April 22 next year, so get it now. This game, however, promises even more things than Emerald Tycoon did. Like catching 20 different kinds of fish, exploring sea biomes, and also upgrades and customizations. Will it live up to those promises? We'll see if it really does, right now. So the game starts with a hub of sorts, which has this ruined house with this dog who is, um, a corgi maid, or a mercorgi, I, I don't know, and it's just a cute mermaid doggo, who will act as the introduction of this game. The game blacks out as you hear a natural disaster ruining your house and being washed away in the ocean. And then you start this beach. So this is the entire premise of this map. Similarly to Emerald Tycoon, you will need to do tasks to build this island filled with really cute mermaid doggo. This time though, it's you doing my favorite Sonic Adventure game mode, fishing. Oh, and before I talk about fishing, I just want to mention how beautiful the music is. Like, it's so calming. So the way the fishing works here is very much like vanilla Minecraft. You hold to throw the hook in the ocean, then you wait until the icon pops out and you reel the fish once, then it starts getting mad, uh, let it rest, and then you can just spam like to reel it back, and boom, you got a fish. In order to fish, you need to collect worms from the sandy areas first as fish bait. It's really satisfying if you like really know how to do it. And there's actually challenges with this, which is more fun than standing AFK collecting emeralds in a chest. Once done, you can sell all these fish to get sand dollars from the seagull guy. And that'll be useful for upgrading and rebuilding the island, and also boat. I ended up spending most of my sand dollars to rebuild this lighthouse, which will give me access to even more places in this game, like Kelp Forest. And this is where the game gets even better. Once you explore even more, you'll notice more fishes, landmarks, and main traction. Kelp Forest is basically the second hub, where you'll get more fancy equipment like crab cages and even a fish museum, where you sell fishes you can catch as well. This is also where the really beautiful builds this map has shines and it just looks outstanding. Also you might remember early in the game where you see these junks lying around the ocean and you try to collect them by bumping them with your boat. And then when you collect them you get this prompt from this girl called Caroline which doesn't exist in this island. Well, she wasn't anywhere there but she is in Kelp Forest and haha uh -huh, she's a coral. Very funny game. And if you give her enough junk, she will make a beautiful statue with it, which is cool. Still hate the name though. With that said, does this game really live up to its promise and it's actually better than Emerald Tycoon? Well, my answer here is definitely a yes. While I also like Emerald Tycoon, in my opinion, the team in Game Mode 1 has made something even more fresh and immersive than Razzleberry's. Like, the thing you'll mostly do in Emerald Tycoon is literally just wait until a chest opens so you can have emeralds, I guess, I don't know. Well, here you have a more engaging experience of catching fish to get sand dollars. The fishing in this game really wants you to get back more in the game and go even fish more. Maybe even with friends, with co-op. Uh, that's something I unfortunately do not have. So I think Seaside Story is overall a more fun experience, but I think Emerald Tycoon is still fine. Probably not for everyone though since uh, it's a tycoon. But like Emerald Tycoon, there's a 
flaw with this game. After recording some footage for this video, since my phone's battery was like dying, I had to turn it off and save the game. And when I go back, there's no NPCs. Well, except the mayor, but who cares about him? You can't do anything with him other than talk with him. So that rendered the game unfinishable. And I can't really show the rest of the game and its ending. But besides that bug that will hopefully get fixed soon, I'd recommend you try to check this game out and maybe even finish the ending. And even play with your friends, which I don't have. So overall, I think Seaside Story is quite possibly the best Minecraft marketplace map you can ever play with. And it's even free, so that's a steal in my eyes. And also, why would someone hate a map with a fun little fishing adventure with cute mermaid doggos? And also coral. Thank you.